A war was fought in these hills, and war crimes were committed. That's why the man in the white suit has come to this Congolese village, and he's putting one of the leaders of this village on trial for mass murder. The prosecutor is Luis Moreno Ocampo. He's an Argentine, and he's the chief prosecutor of the International Criminal Court. And his job is to go after the very worst criminals in the very worst places in the world. Majin Bujolo was a leader. But he led you in the wrong way. Cannot attack people. No one can attack you. And it's not just a problem for your community. It's a problem for the world. It's actually a film about a guy who's chasing war criminals and then trying to fend off his critics and trying to be effective when he has no power, and, or when he has very little power. And that's what I found interesting, because it's a good dramatic premise. You know, here's a guy who's, who has all the ambition in the world to put people behind bars for genocide, but he has no cops. There's no police force he can call on, so he relies on persuasion. And that's what you see him do in the film, trying to navigate his way through getting these terrible war criminals into court and in jail and convicted in the face of incredible political problems. Qu'est-ce que tu as fait? Children are not soldiers. If convicted, Tomás Lubanga's sentence will send a clear message. The era of impunity is ending. He gave me amazing access. Some of his advisors didn't want him to, and some of his other lawyers didn't like it. They didn't like me filming all the deliberations behind the scenes, them rehearsing their big opening speeches in the trial. But I think he felt that, in the end, it would be a good way for people to understand what he was doing, and partly because of his ex extraordinary self-confidence, because he believes in what he's doing is right, that that would come across. And in fact, I think it does. Moreno Ocampo is dealing with horrific crimes in about a dozen countries. But right now, his biggest and most challenging case is Darfur, Sudan. Back in 2003, 2004, there was a terrible civil war in western Sudan, a region called Darfur. And the Security Council of the United Nations handed Moreno Ocampo the case. He launched an investigation, charged a couple of guys, and then while we were filming, he applied for a warrant for the president of Sudan. Now that's radical, because once you go up against the head of state of a country, who do you get to arrest him? He's the head of state. He's in charge of all the, all the force in the country. So right away that put him on a collision course with Sudan, but more important, or just as important, it put him on a collision course with the idea of sovereignty. And a lot of other African leaders were pissed off about it, because what if they're next? The decision to start the genocide was taken by al-Bashir personally. المحكمة الآن ليست ليست محكمة عادية. أنا إحنا مستعدين نحارب الدنيا كلها ولا نسلم سوداني. The argument is is that if you don't have the power to arrest somebody, that you might just make things worse by accusing people of terrible crimes. You just might make them mad, and they're going to retaliate. Or if you start bringing people to court and accusing them of terrible crimes while a war is still going on, you might make it more difficult to resolve the conflict and get peace. So that's what he's battling with all the time. Moreno Campbell's saying there is no peace without justice. In fact, the whole shape of the film is him sort of battling off that, that argument and trying to show that justice is worth pursuing. Mr. President, Excellencies, a year ago, nobody could have dreamed that the peace process will progress so. All the parties to the conflict have to stop resorting to violence. This is the absolute priority to prevent future crimes. The world is kind of a bad neighborhood. There are a lot of gangs who are all little individual countries. And inside some of those countries, some terrible things happen. And for those victims of those crimes, there's no place to go, no place to turn. So this court is this utopian idea 
that maybe there can be some justice for places where there is no justice. And this guy is the guy who wants to bring it to them.